had Omina Castle, man. Omina Castle pirate. Looked similar, but a little smaller. It's going to be a walk and talk, but before we start, we need to have a quick overview or introduction to this castle. And this castle is called Elimina Castle or Slope Dungeon, and this is the first to be bought by the Portuguese in the year 1482. But the Portuguese first arrived here in the year 1471 to trade and to spread his territory. And at that time, the system in place was part of that SPG group. They came along with several European commodities, which included guns, gunpowder, used clothing, rams, mirrors, bees, and among others, in exchange for gold, ivory, and later spices. But because of the abundance of gold in this area and the rate at which the locals were given out in exchange for some of these aforementioned commodities, created an impression that the whole town was full of gold. So the Portuguese named this town La Mina or El Mina, meaning the gold mine, which was corrupted into present day El Mina. But the traditional name for the town before the arrival of the Portuguese was called Anomansa, Anoma on Sanda, inexhaustible supply of water. So when they arrived in 1471, and because of the abundance of gold, they requested for a land from then the chief called and now come and said that they could bolt their stretch on in order to trade with to trade in gold. At that time, the chief declined the request from the Portuguese. But he said, it is better for people to be good friends when they are living apart than when they are living together. Even if I say here in the morning, sorry, they were out of the dungeon. And after 12 hours or hours in this dungeon, the experience was traumatic and unbearable. Why? Mosquito battle was all over their body. And the stretch that was emanating from this dungeon was indeed terrible. So the question that people asked themselves was, if 12 hours in this dungeon was such a mess, what about those who spent about one month or two months or three months, months in the same dungeon awaiting shipment? One could not imagine or comprehend what they might have gone through. And on top of this dungeon was where the Dutch bought their own church, claiming to worship the Creator. And you can see some of the original iron bars to prevent anyone from escaping the dungeon. So that was impossible for any of the cabins to escape the dungeon. treatment in the dungeon was also moved by the soldiers and they put them back in chains and this is the female passage into the room of what? No return. I made mention of the male passage into the room of no return. So from here we are going straight into the room of no return where you will see the original door of no what? Return. But the assurance is that we are going to return but that's how any of them who went into that room never in his or her life returned onto his own land. But because the wooden staircase is no more, we are going to use the mirror passage to get in there. Let's continue.